In this video, I will discuss about cardiac arrhythmia and types of cardiac arrhythmia. Let's try to understand what is arrhythmia. The word arrhythmia comes from Greek word and it is combination of two words A plus rhythmos. A means loss and rhythmos means rhythm. Actual meaning of arrhythmia is loss of rhythm. It is very simple to understand arrhythmia. Whenever there is an irregularity in the heart beating pattern that is referred as arrhythmia. Whether your heart beat too slow or too fast, in both conditions it is referred as arrhythmia. Basically arrhythmia is two types, bradycardia and tachycardia. In bradycardia, your heart is beating too slow and it is less than 60 beats per minute. Whereas in tachycardia, your heart is beating too fast and it is about more than 100 beats per minute. Before moving forward, we must know why bradycardia and tachycardia occur. I hope that you guys are well aware about natural pacemakers and they are SA node, AV node and bundle of branches. They all produce electrical impulses but SA node is very dominant one and it determines heart rate and pulse rate. Simply we can say that number of times your SA node produce electrical impulses and same number of time your heart will beat. On the screen you can see the ECG pattern of normal heartbeat and ECG pattern of bradycardia and ECG pattern of tachycardia. In the case of bradycardia, it is clearly visible that the gap between two QRS complex is very far. Whereas in tachycardia, the gap between two QRS complex is very less. Please note that the ECG pattern you see on the screen are related to atrial bradycardia and atrial tachycardia. The ECG pattern for ventricular bradycardia and ventricular tachycardia will be different. Types of bradycardia. There are two types of bradycardia, sinus bradycardia and heart block. Sinus bradycardia is occurred due to the defect in SA node. When SA node of your heart produces less electrical impulses, then this is referred as sinus bradycardia. Heart block is also known as AV block and it is a condition wherein the electrical impulses from the upper chambers of heart do not reach to the lower chamber of heart due to some problem in the AV node. AV node block these electrical impulses partially or completely. This is AV node and you can see the electrical impulses from the upper part of heart are heading towards AV node. If there is a problem in AV node, it will block electrical impulses partially or completely. In resulting, your heartbeat is slow down. Also, the skip of heartbeat is very common. Symptoms of bradycardia. The main symptoms include fainting, fatigue, dizziness, confusion, breathing difficulty and cardiac arrest. Tachycardia. When your heart is beating too fast or more than 100 beats per minute, and this condition is referred as tachycardia. The most common causes of tachycardia are chronic heart diseases, high blood pressure, valves disease, cardiomyopathy and some external stimulants like high intake of caffeine, medications like sympathetic drugs include epinephrine, norepinephrine and ephedrine etc. Other than these, acute and very short term tachycardia is also experienced during fear, stress and head conditions. Types of tachycardia The most common types of tachycardia are listed on the screen and they are atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter, ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillation. As the name suggests, first two types of tachycardias, I mean atrial fibrillation and atrial flutter are related to the upper chambers of heart. Whereas last two types of tachycardias, I mean ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillation are related to the lower chambers of heart. The main difference between atrial fibrillation and atrial flutter is that in atrial fibrillation, atria contracts or beats very fast and irregularly. Whereas in atrial flutter, atria contracts or beats fast but at regular pace. As stated that the ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillations are related to the lower chambers of heart. 
the main difference between ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillation is that in ventricular tachycardia the lower chambers of heart contracts or beats very rapidly whereas in ventricular fibrillations the lower chambers of heart beat very rapidly at irregular pace in coming videos i will come up with the classification of drug used in arrhythmia thank you so much for watching please subscribe and support